Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are making some Christmas wreaths and a swag using pine cones and dollar store supplies. This DIY is a wintry swag that is perfect for Christmas or afterwards, featuring greenery, pine cones I found outside, and some gold touches. I'm using 13 of these pine cones I collected from outside. These cones are longer and skinnier in shape rather than the wider ones, which is going to work really well for this Christmas swag. I'm going to be painting them with this white acrylic paint from DecoArt. I'm squeezing a bunch of the paint onto a paper plate. Then I'm taking each of the cones and rolling them in the paint. I'm making sure to cover all sides of the cones, including both ends. This method is way faster and easier than using a paintbrush and painting each one by hand. And they don't have to be perfect at all. Some parts of the cones will have more paint on them and some will have less. I like that you're able to see the natural color of the cone coming through. After I dip each of the cones in the white paint, I'm placing them back onto a paper plate. And I'm not worrying about having the wet paint touching the paper plate. I found it didn't make any difference at all and dried just fine. Now that all my cones are dry, this is what they are looking like. And now I'm starting to arrange them so there are more cones at the top and then tapering down to fewer and fewer toward the bottom. This just gives me a rough idea of how it's eventually going to look. I'm using this gold ribbon I got from Walmart. You can see it's really nice and shimmery. And I'm going to be attaching each of my pine cones to a strip of this ribbon. I'm cutting the ribbon into various lengths, longer ones for the pine cones closer to the bottom of the swag and shorter pieces for the pine cones that are going to be closer to the top. The ribbon is a little bit too thick, so I'm cutting each of my strips in half. And since I am using 13 pine cones, I am cutting 13 strips of the ribbon. I'm hot gluing each piece of ribbon to the bottom of each one of the cones. When you're gluing the ribbon pieces onto the pine cones, one side of the pine cone will become the front based on how you glue the ribbon to the pine cone. So if there's a particular side of the cone that you like better, then just be mindful of that when you're gluing the ribbons on. Now that all the ribbon strands are glued to all of the pine cones, I'm laying them all out on the table again to see what we're working with. And now I'm starting to tie the ribbon strands together. I'm tying them all together in knots at the top. Thank you. 
if one strand seems like it needs to be a little bit shorter than it is, then I might tie it closer to the top of the knot. Or if I need it to be hanging lower, then I'll tie it at the bottom of the knots. Once they were all tied together, there were one or two strands that were a little bit too long. So I went up near the top, close to the knot, folded the ribbon a little bit and hot glued it in place. And that's a quick and easy way to shorten it. For the next part of my swag, I'm using one of these mini Christmas trees from Dollar Tree. I'm fluffing out the branches. Then putting it behind all of my strands of pine cones. I'm now tying the Christmas tree around the top where all of the ribbons are tied together. And along with tying it, I also hot glued down the string to the base of the Christmas tree. To continue decorating my swag, I'm using this Christmas pick that has this pretty greenery on it. And I thought this would help to bring some more dimension with different colors of greenery to my swag. So I took off those greenery pieces and I'm sticking them onto the Christmas tree, poking out behind the pine cones. Next, I have this gold leaf Christmas pick from Dollarama. And this pick is in three main sections, which I cut off with my wire cutters. And then I'm sticking those gold pieces onto the greenery behind the pine cones. A little later on, I am going to split up these bunches of gold leaves into smaller sections so I can have bits of gold poking out in more places of my swag. Now it's time to hot glue those extra greenery pieces in place and hot glue the gold leaves. Next, I'm taking this ribbon from Walmart that is this greenish blue color and has big gold snowflakes on it. And I'm going to use this to make a big bow for the top of my swag. I'm making three loops with the ribbon, two larger ones on either side and a smaller loop in the middle. Then I'm tying the bow together with a pipe cleaner, making sure to go around the base of the bow and also through it so the loops stay together. I'm now cutting off the tails of the ribbon. I have a lot of excess ribbon sticking up here past the knot that I tied onto the base of this Dollar Tree Christmas tree. So I'm trimming that down a little bit. This will all be covered up by that big bow we just made, but I wanna make sure it's as hidden as possible. Now I'm adding hot glue to the back of my ribbon. Then I'm pressing it onto the top of the swag. You wanna make sure to adjust the bow so none of that pipe cleaner is showing or floral wire or whatever it is you used to tie the bow together. I'm also using hot glue to adjust my bow and make it sit just right at the top of the swag. In the process of adding all of the picks to my swag, the pieces of gold ribbon got quite frayed on the edges. So I'm going through with my scissors and cutting off all of those loose threads. To hang up my swag on the front door, I'm using this twine from Dollar Tree. I'm cutting off a piece, then hot gluing it to the back of the swag. 
Here is the finished swag. I love how this turned out so much. I really think this could be a transitional piece from Christmas into winter for the new year. The white tipped pine cones with the gold ribbon and the gold leaf accents are so elegant. This DIY is a mini wreath featuring some elegant berries, greenery, and lots of pine cones. I'm using this mini wire wreath form from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to be decorating it with a bunch of pine cones I found outside. For this DIY, I'm using 11 pine cones. I'm turning the wreath form over so it is concave and has that area that the pine cones can sit inside of. Then I'm laying the pine cones all around the wreath form. At first I had them following the shape of the wreath and then I thought it would look a little bit better if they were more at an angle. So I'm adjusting all of those and putting them around the wreath form. Now I'm hot gluing all of the pine cones to the wreath, adding some hot glue to the wire, then pressing the pine cones down one by one. To decorate the wreath, I have these reddish purple berries. I'm cutting off each section with my wire cutters. Now I'm cutting them into even smaller sections just with my scissors. And I'm going to be adding these little sections of berries in between my pine cones. I also have some white berries that I'm going to be using for the same purpose. I have the purplish berries in between one set of pine cones and then alternating with the white berries in between the next pine cones. I'm going to hot glue these in place, but for now I'm just placing the little bunches of berries in between all of the pine cones so I can make sure that this is what I want to do and that it's going to look good. And it also helps me know how many berries I should be putting in between each of the pine cones. Once I have all the berries planned out where they're going to go, I'm going in with my hot glue gun and adding some hot glue to the pine cones, then sticking the berries in between. If any of the little sections of berries don't quite seem like they have enough, then I'm taking single little berries and hot gluing them to some of the bunches. Next, I have these mini pine picks from Dollar Tree. These picks also are covered in gold glitter and I'm cutting each of these picks in half. Then I'm going to be sticking them behind each of the berry bunches all around my wreath. Once all of the picks are in place, I'm turning the wreath over and I'm adding bits of hot glue on the pine cones underneath the greenery, then pressing down the picks to hold them in place. To hang the wreath, I have this thick twine rope and I'm tying each end around the outer ring of my wreath form at the top of the wreath. Here is the finished pinecone wreath. 
I love how this turned out so much. It's so simple with pine cones I found outside, some added berries and greenery from the dollar store, but I think it looks so elegant and I love the bit of gold sparkle in the background. This DIY is a big, beautiful Christmas wreath featuring lots of greenery, berries, and white pine cones. I'm using this 14 inch wire wreath form. And I also have a bunch of these red berry picks from the dollar store. I cut the picks off with my wire cutters and I'm placing the berry bunches around my wreath. I also have this Christmas floral pick that has lots of greenery and berries on it. I'm now taking the green pieces off of this pick and I'm adding these all in between along with some greenery with fake snow on it. And I'm basically just trying to fill out this wreath as much as possible with lots of different types of greenery and the pops of color with the berries. I am going to be adding more greenery as I go, but for now I have this strand of white pine cones and I'm cutting off a few of them and placing them around my wreath. Now that I have a general sense of what I want the wreath to look like and where I'm wanting things to go, it's time to start gluing everything down. I took off some of the elements and I'm gluing down the base, which is a lot of this greenery, and I'm adding the hot glue to the wire, then sticking the greenery onto it. and then I'm adding the berries on top of the greenery. I find sometimes it's easier to add the glue directly to the wire when you're gluing something down like a larger piece of greenery, for example, because it can be a little bit tricky to add the glue exactly in the right place on the greenery and then stick it onto the wreath. But of course, this means you do get a lot of hot glue on your table. <laughs> I'm continuing to go all around my wreath, hot gluing everything down. And this part is so fun because you're really starting to see the wreath come to life and become this nice, full, Christmassy piece. For some of the smaller elements, like the small pieces of greenery, I do find it is easier to add the glue directly to the stem and then stick that onto the wreath. But for this kind of thing, it's definitely trial and error and seeing what works best for you. And that could change depending on the wreath form that you're using and the different elements that you're adding to the wreath. Another thing to keep in mind when gluing all of the greenery down onto the wreath is I'm having everything go in the same direction, which really creates a cohesive look to the wreath. One of the Christmas picks I got recently from the dollar store had these beautiful greenery pieces that have these long skinny leaves on them and have that bit of sparkly snow, which I think is really pretty for winter Christmas time. So I'm adding a bunch of these all throughout the wreath. I'm now hot gluing my pine cones to the wreath. I ended up adding five to this wreath and I used store-bought pine cones for this DIY, but of course you could also use ones you find around outside and you could paint them to be white or any other color that you think would look nice on a Christmas wreath. I'm really trying to make sure that as little of the wire is showing through as possible because I want the wreath to be nice and full. So now I'm just really going in and adding little bits of greenery wherever I can. To hang my wreath, I'm using this red rope and I'm tying it around the outer ring of the wreath form at the top of the wreath. Here is the finished Christmas wreath. I love how festive it is with the red berries and the white pine cones 
and of course all of the different types of greenery in the background. This DIY is a mini Christmas wreath featuring burlap ribbon, snowy greenery, and pine cones. I'm using this floral foam wreath form from Dollar Tree along with this Christmas garland I got from Dollarama that has all of these green picks with the fake snow on them along with some pine cones and red berries. Using my wire cutters, I'm cutting off four pine cones along with some berries and a bunch of those leaves with the fake snow. Before I start decorating my wreath, I'm going to cover it with this burlap ribbon. I'm adding some hot glue to the wreath form, then pressing the end of the burlap, then pressing the end of the burlap roll onto the wreath, and wrapping the burlap around the wreath form, adding bits of hot glue along the way, making sure the burlap is slightly overlapping itself so none of the green is showing through. I'm weaving the whole roll of burlap through the center of the wreath and then just wrapping it around continuously like that because then you don't have to measure exactly how much burlap you're going to need for the whole wreath. Or you could cut off smaller sections of the burlap at a time and then when you get to the end of one section, just continue hot gluing the next section, slightly overlapping with the previous one. I'm now cutting off the end of the burlap, then adding the last of the hot glue onto the wreath and folding down that piece of burlap to cover the rest of the wreath form. Now that my wreath is totally covered with the burlap, I'm going to start adding my greenery. I'm cutting some of these pieces to be a bit smaller and then I'm arranging them around my wreath so all of the pieces are facing the same way. Now I'm starting to hot glue them to the wreath, adding the hot glue onto the burlap, then pressing the greenery onto the wreath. Adding the burlap is such a nice way to cover up that green foam so you don't have to worry about adding as much greenery to cover it up. And then you also have that bit of rustic burlap showing through bits of the wreath. Now to decorate it even more, I'm adding those pine cones from that Christmas garland and also adding some berries throughout the wreath. For this wreath, I'm hot gluing four of the pine cones down onto the wreath and then also hot gluing those berries beside each of the pine cones. Now I can also go through and add any more greenery that I think is needed. For my wreath hanger, I'm using this red ribbon from Dollar Tree and I'm hot gluing it backwards onto the back of the wreath because I didn't want so much of that gold detail to be showing when the wreath was hung up.
Here is the finished Christmas wreath. The burlap ribbon really helps to give this a farmhouse rustic feel, but then the snowy pine cones really elevate the look along with those bright red berries. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for lots more fun DIY videos coming every week. I'll see you next time.